as Ken used but I can grow up, he came to realize that the ray of the sun passing through the window allowed him to see what a naked eye can see, right? And then he interprets this way. Here is what happens when you invite Jesus in your life. He too allows you to see what your naked eyes can see. And let's see what that means from our readings today. Our readings capture three moments of awakening, like what happened to Ken Lewis. And these awakenings in different places, in the temple, on a highway, and at the seashore. And then we have a beautiful gospel that invites us not to fall victims of discouragement in the face of failure, but rather to welcome Jesus on the boat of our life. The first reading, we are in the temple of Jerusalem, a place of ritual and sacrifice filled with incense as we have here and sacred light like we lit at the beginning of the Mass. There a young man, Isaiah, has a vision of the holiness of God and that vision changes his life. He realizes that not only God is in the temple but God is in the whole world. So God is not only constricted to one place. And he says this beautiful in our reading, the earth is filled with his glory. So rather his vision expands his horizons. Like God is not just the God of the temple, but also the God of history, of the rise and falls of kingdoms. If you are a Jesuit, you will call this God we find in everything. For the rest of his life, Isaiah will show God at work not only in the individual lives but also in the events of history. And then beautifully, from our reading, Isaiah is chosen simply out of God's mercy. And so we are. He is a man of unclean lips. And this reminds me of 